Hello friends, in the previous video, we have understood the amount of renewable energy we have in this world. But the fact is that we cannot use it up to its whole potential. In earlier video of availability of renewable energy of Earth, we have mentioned that the energy which we have received from the sun is 10,000 times as the requirement. Despite of this fact, we are still unable to utilize it. The world energy consumption is the total energy used by human civilization. If all the energy is harnessed towards humanity, every single industrial and technological sector will benefit across each and every country. It is usually measured per year. World energy consumption has a deep implication for humanity's social, economical, political sphere. The majority of the world energy consumption is harnessed from fossil fuel, that is oil, coal and natural gas. The above figure shows the energy demand of the world and how it has been increased year by year. In the year 2018, the energy demand was 2.3% more than the year 2017. It shows that the world is energy hungry. Despite of the fact that we have to be very much clear about using fossil fuels because we know its adverse effects on the climate and also we cannot depend on it since it is not replenishing. Here, you can see in the diagram that the world depends majorly on non-renewable sources of energy. You can see that the top contributor to the energy is oil, coal and natural gas, which is non-renewable. Approximately 80% of our energy is produced by using non-renewable sources. But this is going down day by day because of the investment and the major steps which have been taken towards the directions of renewable sources of energy. In the results, Iceland and Norway are now 100% relied on renewable sources of energy. In the year 2018, the reports say that solar energy and wind energy have improved drastically, approximately 31%. This shows that the future governments have been looking forward towards the renewable sources of energy more aggressively. But this is going down day by day because of the investment and major steps which have been taken towards the direction of renewable sources of energy. The International Energy Agency estimated an average power consumption of 12.3 terawatts for the year 2013. World's energy consumption and the source from which it was obtained is shown as below. Hydropower is one form of renewable energy which contributes slightly more than nuclear energy. It can also be observed that renewable energy sources are contributing list, but their share is increasing nowadays. The electricity production by various energy sources worldwide is shown in the pie diagram given below. The above figure shows that approximately 80% of energy of world consumption is from non-renewable resources, in which petroleum, coal are the major chunks, whereas Renewable sources only contribute 19% of the total energy requirement of the world. From the above diagram, we can understand that the major consumption of energy comes from coal. The coal fan burn produces carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Also, the unburned carbon acts as a particulate matter in the air. 
Carbon monoxide is one of the main reasons for ozone layer depletion. This is alarming for the environmental health. The environment itself shows its side effects since we are facing after monsoon showering in many parts of India. The glaciers in Antarctica have been melting year by year. Approximately 70% of the Greenland has been melted and this is very much alarming. We have to be focused on renewable sources. Research and development has to be done in the field of renewable energy sources. From this chart, it is very clear that fossil fuels are major source of energy. But fossil fuels are depleting at a faster rate and cannot meet the energy requirement. In future, environmental pollution is another major concern where fossil fuels are used. The contribution of renewable energy is 19% in world power consumption and 22% in world electricity generation since renewable energy is replenished at the same rate. Renewable energy is being consumed worldwide and is grabbing a lot of attention. Moreover, it is clean and green energy which is not causing pollutions like the fossil fuels. Some of the countries are getting more of power from renewable energy resources. The leading countries are listed below. We have Iceland which has 100% of power generation from renewable sources. Then we also have Norway which has 98% of power generation from renewable resources. Then comes Brazil which is 86%. Then we have Austria which is 62%. Then we have New Zealand with 60% and here comes Sweden with 54%. Now we also look into the present power scenario of India. In India, Total power production installed capacity is 263.66 gigawatt. And the renewable energy capacity is 34.35 gigawatt. That is 13% of the installed capacity and 7% of the electricity produced. This was the report by the Renewable Energy 2015 Ministry. In India, we can see that 60% of the consumption is done by coal. Coal is used as an energy resource in thermal power plants. And in India, more than half, that is 60% energy production, is on thermal power plants. Hydra contribute 15% and natural gas contribute to 9%. Due to the worries in the masses, nuclear power plant is just 2.2%. Renewable energy contributes about 13% of the total installed capacity of India. Renewable energy constitutes wind which is 8.6%, solar heating or cooling which is 1.5%, solar PVs is 1.3%, biomass 0.5% and biogas is 1.1%.
India is fifth largest country producing wind energy. 22.6 gigawatts out of 370 gigawatts. India is the 11th largest country in solar power production. In solar production, 3.3 gigawatts out of 177 gigawatts. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with eGIDA and subscribe our channel.